Last week, the folks at Time Magazine unveiled a poll asking readers for which words should be banned in 2015. Apparently, this is an annual thing that Time Magazine does, the word banishment poll. Frankly, I'd never heard of it before. But the reason for that is that this year's poll drew a lot of ire and outrage for including the word feminist among other sort of linguistic outliers like obvi and bay and using the word literally in a figurative sense, which is literally fine, by the way, and also the word kale. And I guess even worse than banning a noun, whether it's feminism or kale, and even worse than the idea that time sort of has this authority to ban words and prescribe the entire English language, is that feminism was far and away leading the poll. People were happy to see feminism or feminist banned from the English language. Now, granted, Time wasn't saying that feminism as a concept or as a political movement should be banned. They were sort of talking about how, especially in the past year, I guess, the word feminism has become a kind of buzzword, a sort of litmus test for celebrities, especially female celebrities. You have Beyonce throwing the word feminist up on stage. And I guess this is something that they found sort of trendy or annoying. And look, I mean, I know that there is literally nothing worse than some white guy talking about feminism, but this was all sort of very annoying. And in the internet's cycle of outrage and reaction, it drew plenty of outrage and reaction. But the thing that bothers me, you know, isn't so much that time did this, but their sort of half-hearted response to it. Time responded by removing the word from this year's poll. And again, this poll is totally meaningless. And they also issued a kind of sorry, not sorry apology, where they said that they were trying to invite debate, but that some of the nuance was lost. I'm not really sure what nuance this is. I mean, the nuance of doing something like this so it will create precisely this reaction and drive web traffic and in turn drive revenue. I mean, if time is trying to be outrageous and topical, they should at least stand behind it. And also, I mean, so what if feminism or feminist has become a sort of buzzword or badge of honor if it gets people talking about it and thinking about these things? Feminism is great, and so is kale, and so is using literally in the figurative sense. I mean, if there's anything we should be talking about banning, it should be this stupid word banishment poll, which is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard of.